Welcome back to my channel. This is Amy and today I'm going to discuss with you a very necessary episode for every girl. It's all about the top handlebags that will never go out of style. Kasi marami tayo mga bags and uh, mga classification ng bags. But then, parang I find ng mga top handle bags very, very classy. And at the same time, hindi talaga siya nawawala sa uso. Although some make it for the new trends, ginagawa nila ng mga bagong twist, yung mga ganyan. Ito yung mga napili ko ng mga top handle bags that I personally can attest to that have withstood the test of time and talagang up to now. Classy pa rin siya and classic pieces pa rin sila. So these bags, pwede nyo bilhin for your own collection. Dito tayo sa isa sa mga favorite ko rin. Lahat favorite ko. Wala tayo magagawa. <laughs> Na-discuss ko na to sa inyo before. This is a Delvo Tempete. This is the MM size. I love it because it's very discreet. It's very class. It doesn't have to say so much to say something. It doesn't have a lot of things happening. Kahit mahilig ako sa mga extra, meron din akong kilig dun sa mga things that, you know, that are very underrated and only those who know, knows. Ganon. Nakakalark eh. Pwede siyang handbag. It's a top handle bag. And then, may kasama rin siyang strap. This one is in mint green. Binili ko to sa Japan. Malaki-laki siya, so you can use it for travel. I didn't put out the Brilliant anymore, but I know for sure that you know that I really love the Brilliant. I actually bought another one, so marami-rami na rin akong Brilliant. Mahal talaga yung Delvo, as I've said before, and yung mga price point niya is nasa mga starting price na ng mga Hermes na Gypsier before, or siguro yung mga before na price ng Lindy kasi nasa mga 400-ish siya. To, depends pa kung sa anong klase and anong size. So, yan. But in Europe, syempre, mas makakatipid yung mga nag-travel. So, if you're traveling, might as well. Ayan. Ang kagandahan ng Delvo, it's the oldest na luxury house ever. It's from Belgium and it's all luxurious leather. The craftsmanship talaga says a lot. From there, ito, yun naman pwede mawala to si Mare. <laughs> this is one of my favorite peekaboos. This is the Petite Peekaboo and I See You. This is lilac. Ito yung official color na nakalagay sa kanya. Isa yan sa mga timeless na mga bags that can be one of your investment pieces from this brand, Fendi. Yan. Yan yung kanilang kumbaga parang iconic bag. It's top handle and it's also like this. The only thing that I can say is that choose the right size of peekaboo for you because Ako kasi, lahat na halos ng size, na-complete ko na so I can, you know, I can play with the sizes with the colors that I like. I think the mini would be the perfect size for every day kasi kasha dun yung mga phones, yung wallet, almost all the essentials. For me, I suggest get the one that fits your lifestyle best. Yun yung pinaka-importante. But for top handlebags, this one is part of the must-haves and hindi mo wawala sa uso. Moving forward, let's go to another brand that... Yeah, not a lot of people really like, but I really appreciate it. It's another discreet brand. This is the Moinari Jane. This is the sa kanila mga iconic bags. Olivia has her own. This is in color taupe. Isa pa sa mga magaganda nilang model is the Gabrielle. But for me, Free Jane talaga yung pinaka okay. Ayan. So ganyan siya. It's just all luxury leather. Leather pa lang nagsasalita na siya na oops. There, it's so nice. Bagay siya sa lahat. For the longest time, Moinari Jane has been there. And a lot of people who are fashion forward have been using the Regine. Moving forward, um, I know that you know this is one of my favorites. And for the top handle, hindi kaya pwede mawala nito. Because as I've said many times over, this is a classic piece that I can say or I can suggest that you can buy or invest on. With Louis Vuitton. This is a wicker bag. I appreciate the craftsmanship. I appreciate the time and effort of the artist. Sons making one. Mahirap gumawa ng isang bags na gawa sa ganito. So, you know, justify natin yung kamahalan <laughs> This is a limited edition piece. Basically, na-discuss ko na most of the bags that I've been showing you sa mga ibang episodes natin. Most of them are my favorites. Moving forward, there's another brand that you know that I love very much. It's 
it's Goyard. This is my most favorite bag of Goyard. So this one is the PM size. And for me, if you're going to buy, I'm going to suggest that you buy the PM size more than the mini because it's the perfect size for everyone. Even with my clients, that's what I tell them before buying. And so far, um, they share the same sentiments with me. The PM is by far the most useful bag or size for the Goyard Saigon. I love the Saigon because really it's a structured bag. It's very classy. It's a top handle bag and it, it comes with um, extra strap that it's never gonna go out of style. It has this signature ng Goyard na mga accent piece na wooden. So, alam nyo na, mahal yan. So, this one, yung, mag, yung black color nito is around 400,000 na. And then, yung mga colored, mas mahal. And, of course, the limited edition pieces are more expensive than the rest. So, there. Um, among the mga styles that I have discussed or have shown you, there's only one bag that I'm going to show that doesn't have an extra strap. And, of course, it's from Hermes. This one is a hack. This is actually the sister of a Birkin. This is a size 32 in ostrich. Of course, value-wise and when it comes to investing, when it comes to mga luxury bags, it's definitely our mess on top of our list. And for top handle bag, definitely ang number one sa list natin is the Birkin or for this specific na bag that I have shown, it's the HAC. So, ayan, this is the 32, as I've said. Mas mahaba siya. Yun yung difference niya sa Birkin. This is actually meant for traveling, and this is what the men actually buy for themselves kasi mas masculine siya as compared to the Birkin, with the exception of those that are big na mga Hermes na Birkins. So, hindi na ko naglabas ng Kelly, but of course, that's another one that you can consider for top handle bags that will never go out of style. And of course, it fits a lot. It's definitely something that you should invest on or at least kahit isa lang you can have. So, ayan. Ito yung mga bags that I can suggest na pwede yung bilhin if you're considering getting a top handle bag. And although this is not my favorite anymore, I can suggest also you get a trendy CC more than a Coco handle because definitely yung trendy CC mas marami siyang nilalagay and mas maganda yung fit niya. Mas maganda rin yung itsura niya. For me, it's not that common and with the special na tab. On top, there's an extra feature na, alam mo, mas mahal. Oy, maang taray. So, I think that's about it with the mga top handle bags that were never never go out of style. I hope you learned something today before you get your own bags. Um, especially now that it's nearing Christmas season, I know that we all deserve something for ourselves or for our loved ones. So, hindi lang maganda dapat yung mga pinibili natin. Dapat talagang functional and useful siya. Kasi syempre, we have to always value the money and the work that we put into it before buying. So, there. I'm going to see you again next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course, comment down below on the next topics that you'd like me to feature on my channel and the notification bell button so that you'll get to be notified with whatever we're going to do on our channel next time. I'm going to see you again next time. Thank you very much. Bye!